Let's do this. Reputation precedes you, Hunter. I trust you know what I've called you here to discuss. Yes, sir. The Forbidden Lands? Indeed. But more precisely about the boy we rescued in the vicinity. Entry to the region itself has been restricted for a thousand years. We thought it completely uninhabited. Any remnants of its ancient civilization rest solely in historical record. Now imagine our surprise to have discovered this boy. He claimed to be part of a clan, the Keepers. He said they have a village in a land we thought uninhabited for ages. A few years have passed, but the Academy, of course, has remained skeptical. This village, is there evidence it exists? Nothing absolute, but the mysterious composition of the boy's pendant suggests it might. And, as for how we came to rescue the boy... Sir? It seems a certain monster had forced him to flee. It attacked his village, and he escaped alone. Unfortunately, the underground tunnel he used to make his escape collapsed. We found him, took him in, and here we are. Do we know the status of the village? Unknown. And of the monster? Unknown. However, the scholars hypothesize that it may be a monster which we thought to have perished long ago. An extinct species? They're calling it the White Wraith. The Guild has authorized the rescue of the Keepers and an investigation into this monster. I've selected you as a lead hunter for this expedition. Thank you, sir. Finding the village won't be easy. You'll need the proper guide. Speaking of which, I have an extra assignment for you. Hello, my name is Alma. Come on, it's okay. <laughs> as soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. This is gonna be great! You bet. <laughs> yeah. I hope we find them soon.
to do. for this region being uninhabited. It must be a type of flight. Isai... He's still in trouble. Isai... We were doing... sacred practice. But then it came... And my brother... He... What came? One of the things that was chasing you earlier? It's okay. And your brother, where is he? <laughs> he told me to run. And he stayed. Sounds like trouble, yeah? Can you tell us where he is? The sacred. He knows Isai's scent. Let's find him. I'm with you. Everyone else, focus on scouting for a campsite. Mm. Understood. Just send a signal if you need backup. <laughs> we'll leave some supplies for you. I'll keep an eye on these two. We're moving out. Coming. Please, take these people to save Isai. We're counting on you. Come with me, okay? I'll be back soon. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Be careful out there! We will! See you later! <laughs> we should prepare a bit, just in case. Yeah.
Oh, that's right. Have you decided on a weapon? If you answer a few questions for me, I can get a better sense of your tastes and priorities and think of the perfect weapon for you. How would you describe your fighting style? What kind of tactics do you prefer to use? If you like to attack from a distance, this weapon could be a good match. You can try out your weapon over here. Once you've got a feel for the weapon, we'll head out. We can head back to camp if you need to change your weapon. All right, let's have the sacred follow the scent. Ah, these sacred are quite intelligent. Give them a scent and they'll go it on their own. They're fast, too.
It's safe now. There. Thank the winds. Um... ourselves. Wait, We're... wait. Hold on. Did you really do that? There's no way you should have been able to. So, how? We came because your sister said you were in trouble. <gasps> Nona! Where is she? She's safe. Don't worry. Yeah. We'll take you to her, all right? Any trouble finding us? None at all, thanks to your flair. You must be Isai. Oh. Please, this way. Uh, okay. Welcome there. Hey, Hunter. <laughs> Back already? Good work! Mm -hmm. Hey, your sister's just over there. She's been worried, Zek. Hurry. Right. This is a pretty well-protected spot. We could do a lot worse for an interim camp. This way. Just a quick check. I'm telling you, we just need some space. She's fine. What she needs after Which camp. we're perfectly capable of. <laughs> Nona! The winds. You see? She's fine. Now scram. Go. Back to your stations. You'll pull us in later. I didn't properly thank you before. Everything just happened so fast. I I didn't know what to say. Thank you so so much. Thank you! I'm Isai. My sister and I are from a nearby village. My name is Nona. It's wonderful to meet you. I'm Alma. The others and I are here on a search. We're from a place far out west. How did you end up in that situation back there? Oh, it was all my fault. I was careless. I was helping Nona with riding practice, and the Chatacabra snuck up on us. I told Nona to run for it while I got its attention, but when my sacred and I tried to get away, he slipped, and we fell into that cave. And so, uh, who exactly are the two of you? Oh, right. We must have really surprised you earlier. Forgive me for my lack of understanding, but do you use those tools? I... I've never seen anything like that before. Back where we're from, specialists use these tools to protect others from large creatures. With the understanding that they're never to be brandished at other people, of course. Only those with special permission are allowed to use them. Uh, tools? Specialists? Permission? It's all new to me. But I'm just glad you were there. Where's this village you say you're from? It's just a short distance away by Sacred. Nona and I live there with our grandmother. Would you happen to know of a tribe called the Keepers? The Keepers? No, I don't. Sorry. I see. Well, that's okay. 
We're actually helping our friend here find his home. His people. They're called the Keepers. The Keepers, huh? Hmm. Sorry. I don't remember ever hearing that name before. But our Elder... She might know something. Thanks for letting us borrow your sacred earlier. They were a tremendous help. Did you train them in your village? Yes. We raised them from eggs and trained them ourselves. They're invaluable to us as companions. They're so intelligent. They really came through for us back there. <laughs> I know, right? They're great at sensing and avoiding trouble. And at remembering sense. But they're pretty tricky to handle. So not everyone's cut out for riding them. Take this guy, for example. He won't let just anyone ride him. He's almost too smart for his own good. So, when I saw him take to you so easily, I was really impressed. He must have a gift. That won't do to keep you talking. Let's take a look at those wounds. Why don't we have a look around base camp? 